Hello everyone. Today we'll be discussing an another important question from module one. That is, with neat diagram, obtain the expression for finite output resistance in saturation region. As the question itself says that it is saturation region, let us consider the equation for drain current in saturation region, which is given as I D is equal to K N dash W by two L into V G S minus V T the whole square. I am naming this as equation number one. Now we can also observe that from this equation, I D is going to be independent on V G S. So now let us define output resistance. So R not R not is equal to V D S by I D. We know as per Ohm's law, V is equal to I R. Using this relation, R is equal to V by I. And here R is nothing but output resistance. We are going to define. So it is R not, and the voltage will be nothing but V D S, and current will be I D. I is refers to current, which is I D. Now, if there is any change in the V D S, it doesn't change. The ID value, so that means ID is going to become zero. If ID is zero, R not will go to infinity. If R not is infinity, ideally what happens is VDS is not going to affect the channel shape. So this thing happens ideally, but practically what happens is VDS is crossing. it's a saturation region in that case what happens is the channel will get affected there will be a little change in the channel length that that means that a channel pinch off will be moved away from the drain to the source so let me show you how it moves away so assume that this is somewhere a point this is a source this is a drain it's a point where a channel pinch off is pinch off and this pinch off will be moved away from drain that means a channel pinch off will go something like this away from the drain to the source this is our channel and also let me take that let l be the length of the channel and this part will be delta l small change in the length and this will now become if this is l and this is delta l this will be l minus delta l and this channel pinch off is reached means at this point it is nothing but it is V D sat, which is nothing but V G S minus V T. If the uh, voltage applied here is nothing entirely is V D S, and this is this part is a V D sat. Now this part will now become V D S minus V D sat. So let me define one more parameter, which is called as channel length modulation. Channel length modulation is nothing but whenever vds is varying the l is also going to get varied so in that case the in that case channel length modulation will occur so now let me define what is channel length modulation the process in which there is a variation in the length due to the variation in vds so this is called as channel length modulation so now consider the first equation from the first equation we are going to replace our l with l minus delta l so i am going to get id as k n dash w by 2 l i am replacing it with l minus delta l so it becomes l minus delta l the next part will remain the same so now let me take l common from this equation so i'll be getting k n dash w by 2 l into 1 minus delta l by l so taking l common i am dividing it by l so i'll be getting this into vgs minus vt the whole square now separate this part separate this part from the equation for easier simplification so id is equal to k n dash w by 2l into vgs minus vt the whole square into 1 by 1 minus delta l by l so now what happens is Simplifying this part, I am going to get it as one minus delta L by L. If I simplify, one zero will be one minus delta L by L. So this gives delta L by L as a remainder. So remainder plus quotient will be nothing but the result of the division. So I am going to get one plus delta L by L. So I am going to write in place of this one plus delta L by L. So I'll be getting the drain current equation as K n dash W by two L 
VGS minus VT the whole square into 1 plus delta L by L. So now after this we can tell that delta L is going to be delta L is going to be proportional to VDS. So which can be written as delta L is e delta L is equal to delta L is equal to lambda dash into VDS. So here lambda dash is nothing but it is going to be a process technology parameter. So now in the above equation wherever I have delta L I will be replacing it with lambda dash into VDS. So now drain current equation changes to ID is equal to 1 by 2 K n dash W by L into 1 plus lambda dash by L. Instead in the previous equation I had I had um, I had delta L here. So I am changing it to lambda dash VDS into VGS minus VT the whole square. So now let me change usually lambda dash by L. I am represent I am I am denoting it with lambda. So this becomes ID is equal to 1 by 2 K dash W by L into 1 plus lambda. Lambda dash by L is changed to lambda. So I will be getting this VGS minus VT the whole square. Now let this be equation number 2. Next what happens is typically set ID VDS characteristic let us draw. So I will be getting And this region is nothing but it is a triode region and this region is nothing but it is a saturation region and here is our cutoff. And the voltage is nothing but VDS and this will be ID and this is nothing but VGS minus VT which will be 0.5 increment each thing with 0.5 volt. So we will be getting something like this. So now extending it. So I will get I will be reaching some point let this point be VA which is nothing but it is 1 by lambda only. Now we can also tell that VA is actually nothing but it is a process technology parameter again technology parameter. Now this VA is also proportional to the length. Now we have to isolate the dependence of VA on L, so we can express it as VA is equal to VA dash into L. So now what was our output resistance? R0 is equal to VDS by ID. Correct? So now we have to differentiate the equation number 2. So we will be getting ID is equal to 1 by 2 K n dash W by L 1 plus lambda VDS VGS minus VT the whole square. This was the equation which we, had pre which we had previously. So I am going to differentiate this equation with respect to VDS and the differentiation here is partial. So it becomes delta ID by delta VDS. This entire thing I am going to differentiate it with VDS. So I will be getting delta ID by delta VDS is nothing but now here when we observe 1 by 2 K n dash W by L VGS minus VT this part is a constant. So I can write it here. So I will be getting Vgs minus Vt the whole square. And left out is only this part uh, which I need to differentiate with respect to Vds partially. So I will be getting this. So now delta I mean partial differentiate del id by del Vds is equal to 1 by 2 kn dash w by l vgs minus vt the whole square differentiating a constant will give me a 0 and differentiating this part will, rem will give me only lambda. So this is what I am going to get. Now when we observe this equation this part is nothing but our id which was a drain current equation in saturation region. So I can write it as id into lambda. 
so now what was our main aim our main aim was to find the finite output resistance so to find that i have to take this as a inverse so when i take this as an inverse i'm going to get r not that means r not is equal to delta id by delta vds inverse so what what was that thing i got that means this also will become an inverse correct so now my r not will be nothing but 1 by lambda id now here this id is nothing but drain current without the channel length modulation taken into an account all these thing we are doing it because initially we got that our r not was just a infinity so that is the reason why we took at some point where va and our va was nothing but it was 1 by lambda and then uh, whenever vgs is applied and there will be a change small change in vds when vds is changing obviously id is also going to change when id is changing what basically happens id is also going to change so our resistance will no longer be a infinite now so that is the reason why we do all this process in order to get some finite output resistance thank you